Hi friends, the world is always changing. Do you agree with me that if you don't keep up, you are just going to be left behind? Warren Buffett performance has been pretty lackluster and underperforming the index for years and years. He holds mainly banks, newspaper, energy, retail and insurance. Banks are being disrupted by companies like Square. Who reads newspaper now? Energy? Ha, actually good luck with dirty energy. Retail, we have like Amazon crashing the entire retail sector. Then the only thing he has left going now is insurance. Guess what? It's going to go too. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the disruption of insurance, an industry unchanged for hundreds of years. Frankly, I didn't think this day would come for a long time. It's not every day that I come across a company that can fundamentally change the world. I seldom make moves like that, but uh, when I do, it really has to shake up the entire industry. I sold most of my Illumina stock and initiate a position in this. From my older portfolio video, you have known that I have owned 400 shares of Illumina and my average price was at about 227. Right now it's 375. Right now I'm down to 100 shares means I sold 300 shares away. If you look at the charts, my entry was around 200 plus here and the stock price has since surged until here. To me, this is a very high resistance point. If you look at this stock over the longer term, you will notice that this is the high point and this is a major, major resistance. So right now, I'm just going to take 300 shares off. Nothing's wrong fundamentally with the company. Also, I think this is my itchy fingers portfolio and the remaining stock over here it is as good as free for me because I've made so much money on the way up. I'll just leave 100 on the table. I don't care whatever happens. I'm going to redeploy capital to this company called Lemonade. Do watch to the end of the video where I'll show you my plans on how I'm deploying my capital to this company called Lemonade. Firstly, I need to say not all disruptive, innovative stocks are the same. I need to see cheaper, better, faster, more productive ability to scale and barrier to entry. I didn't buy into Roku, Zillow, Tuyo, Slack, Zoom, etc for various reasons. Disruption cannot be just 20% better. It has to be leaps and bounds better. People hate change, so 20% is not going to do it. For example, let's say you have the best partner ever. If a temptation comes along, if it's just 20% better, you will really like think twice or thrice. Temptation has to be like 100% better in many ways. From being 100% better looking or pleasant personality or a smile that makes your heart melt and a kiss that makes your legs so soft, you would seriously start thinking. Okay, I'm kidding. That is like the worst analogy ever. By the way, appreciate an early thumbs up. It really helps a lot for YouTube to reach more people. Thank you. Let's talk about some examples like Beyond Meat. Since IPO, the stock price has surged. So why didn't I invest in Beyond Meat? Their mission is one of the best missions in the world, which truly means the world to me. They've proven that they can scale everything but one point, price. For mass adoption, price is probably the highest in that order. Beyond Meat stuff is really expensive. If it's cheaper than meat, I will invest in that stock. If you look at Nicola, I seriously have no doubt they'll have their trucks made, though I keep slamming them. I have no doubt because they have raised a billion dollars from the capital markets. A billion dollars is really fuck you money. You can do almost anything you want to do with that kind of money. But fundamentally, Nikola products are more expensive and more complicated. So I know the demand will be low. Price is important in disruption. People are not dumb. Why Tesla disrupts? Tesla makes cars faster, cheaper, and little or no maintenance. So it has to be like a no-brainer to switch. It has to be so super no-brainer, my donkey understands. So now, let's talk about insurance. The whole insurance industry has been around for hundreds of years. The companies that dominate the Fortune 100, 12 of them are insurance companies with an average age of 125. It's about time for disruption. Insurance companies are pain to deal with. When you look at the insurance structure now, you have the customer and you have the company. The customer pays and pays and pays. Yeah, at some point, something's bad gonna happen. So what does the company do? They have to pay us back. However, insurance companies have their own financial incentives. What do they prefer? To pay or not to pay? It's not that they are evil, but if they don't pay, somebody's bonus is going to get higher. 
the structure creates a fundamental bias. When you are getting paid more for rejecting claims, it is hard not to reject more claims. Based on the current structure, it's designed to fail. Conflict of interest, mistrust, and dishonesty on both sides. Anything we do or anything I do, for example, after running so many companies, the structure has to be strong for the company to withstand the test of time. For example, why am I the only financial channel I know of not promoting or selling you causes, etc. So when I do that, I am financially incentivized to be biased and that's bad for you. I may promote you a shitty product or withhold information from you and give it to my premium members. So anything I do in life, the structure, the foundation has to be strong. If it's a little weak, over time, the small cracks in the structure will destroy the entire system. How does lemonade insurance work? The first thing they did was change the structure. For every $10 you pay, they will take a flat fee of 25%. The remaining 75% will be used to pay the claims. Any remainder will go to the charity of your choice. I repeat, for every $10 you pay, Lemon Lit only takes a flat fee of 25%. That's all. The remaining $7.50 will go to pay claims and if there's any remainder, again, it goes to charity. This way, Lemonade will not be financially biased because of the flat fee and you'll find yourself more honest because it hurts the charity of your choice. Lemonade uses AI to detect fraud and pay claims within seconds and mostly within a day. Yes, there will be idiots trying to game the system, but the AI gets better over time, like all AI. Until you get data, you cannot get an expectation of pricing risk reliability. What you want to see is progression. As the data accumulates, Lemonade needs to see a loss ratio reduction. The loss ratio in 2018 was half of what it was in 2017. And year over year losses are reduced as the AI gets smarter. The AI needs time to recognize patterns. Just like all AI applications, it gets exponentially better over time, doing a better job than humans. Buying insurance from Lemonade is easy. Use your smartphone and chat with the AI chatbot. The process is just a few minutes. For claims, it is done the same way. 30% of claims are settled in seconds by the AI. It is unheard of in the insurance world. For a company to succeed over the long term, they need raving fans too. Insurance companies with raving fans is like a joke when it almost never happens. Lemonade reviews are crazy high for such a small company with less than 0.1% market share. I have two criteria that must be fulfilled when I invest. I said this multiple times. Do you remember? Proof of concept and ability to scale. Both check. Lemonade has been around for three years and you see their customers like doubling every year. The reason why there's no quarterly results here is because they just IPO, so a lot of data is not available. But however, you look at their revenue, their revenue is also increasing. Net income is at a loss because it is normal for a new startup company to face losses when they just started. What you want to focus more on is increasing revenue and increasing customer base. Just to sidetrack a little, the reason why I'm using Hypercharts is the normal platforms where you get data for companies like this, you will not be able to see things like customers and in the case of Tesla, they will show you like delivery numbers. They actually go one step further by digging for numbers instead of automating the numbers out. So, and this really takes a lot of effort. This is not sponsored and I appreciate the little things that people do. So Lemonade has expanded to Germany and Netherlands. And it shows scalability too. Using AI it is a lot more scalable instead of hiring a huge workforce. Like Lemonade cuts away the middleman, the brokers. It minimizes administration and legal work. It is so much more scalable. The only downside I see is the same problem you will face as Square. Regulations. Every new territory is a battle and dealing with regulators is really a pain. Concluding this video, I really thought I wouldn't find another disruptive, innovative company for a long time. Investing in Lemonade is not for the short-term investors. The stock could very well triple or come crashing down in the short term. Like all disruptive companies, the timeline is around seven years minimally. So there's no price targets here. Look how long Amazon and Tesla took. Seven years. For me, my entry into this stock is at three different levels. One at 89, one at 69, and the other one at 49. In my brokerage, I set a good to cancel order and if it triggers, it triggers. If it doesn't, I don't care. The stock just IPO and it's going to be another like five to 10 years. For me, the structure is strong and the management is good. 
Now, I just need time to let my investment thesis work out. Appreciate those who helped me with a thumbs up. I really hope you learned a lot in this uh, video. Your actions really contribute so much to this channel. And as always, invest safe.